Today on the vlog, we are talking about one of the most underrated features in DaVinci Resolve and one of my favorite things about the program, the light box. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Richard. I'm a Los Angeles-based content creator, filmmaker, photographer, editor. But on today's episode, we are talking about the light box, which is running behind me. The light box is an incredibly powerful tool with DaVinci Resolve, which allows you to filter things and get a broader consensus of what is happening with the grade that you are working on. So let's get out of the way and let's jump straight into it. Yeah. So here we are in the light box and you can get a full understanding of what the entire film is looking like, what all the shots are looking like after a grade has been applied and we can get a really good understanding of where things are at. The other thing I really like about using the light box is it gives me additional tools to filter things. For instance, if I hit the eye icon up in the upper left hand corner, this will allow me to see all the shots that have been color graded and it will also give me the file name, which in some cases might be important when trying to do a little bit of QC work, trying to figure out if the same look is being applied to shots and if it is the same look. But that doesn't even scratch the surface of what you're capable of doing with the light box in DaVinci Resolve. Just to the left of that is a little menu, which will give you additional filtering tools to filter through the different shots that you've worked on or shots that you may not even have touched yet. We see selected shots, graded shots, shots with fusion, ungraded, unrendered, and the list just goes on and on. This here is the holy grail of the light box. And it is a tool that I am using all the time to get my projects done in a timely manner. There's a lot of times where I'm working on multi-camera projects where we're shooting three to four cameras at any given time. What I'll do when I'm working on a project is all those eight camera um, shots, I'll label or I'll flag them a certain color and the same idea will be able to be applied to the B, C, and D cameras. What that allows me to do is I can use these flagging options which are not set up for this project here and it gives me the ability to filter only by a certain camera so I can quickly apply grades from one take to the next which is incredibly cool and it's a huge time saver in terms of my workflow. I can also see shots that have been modified in a particular time whether that's within the last hour or even up to the last 24 hours. This allows me to get a broad understanding of changes that I've recently made. Yeah. The other thing I really like about the light box is it gives me the ability to filter based off of certain grading parameters. This includes tracked shots, shots with noise reduction, or shots with the common media pool. So here in DaVinci Resolve, if I click this button that says tracked, it will show me all the shots that I have tracking on them. So if we grab this shot of these cable cars here, and we jump back here, yes, there has been some tracking that has been applied in terms of a window. Jump back to the light box really quickly, and we can even see that on other shots as well, including the sign of showing where the glacier was in 2003. Basic vignette that has some tracking to it. Yeah. The other thing I really like about using uh, the light box for is something called common media pool. A lot of times when I'm working on different videos for brands, I'm using the same B-roll over and over again. A camera operator may have gotten multiple passes at a B-roll shot, um, different movements and just different focuses, et cetera, of like different product features. And they didn't necessarily do that in multiple shots. So a lot of times that lighting and um, that grade won't necessarily change. This is a tool that allows me to quickly just copy a grade from one shot to the next if it's the same shot. The last really cool feature within DaVinci Resolve that I need to use on a more regular basis is groups. It allows you to filter by different groups that you've created and just get that grade done in a timely manner. So there are some of the reasons why I'm using the light box on a regular basis. It is something that I encourage you to use in terms of your own grading workflow. It is something that I'm constantly in. So that's all I got for this episode of the vlog. If you have thoughts about the light box, if you're found features within it that are really cool. If you have features in general about Resolve that you're an absolute love about that I should be exploring and could impact my workflow, please put them in the comments below. I'd love this to be more than just 
me lecturing you, but a, instead a conversation where we can learn and grow together. But that's all we got for this episode of the vlog. But as always, create, share, and sustain the life that you want. Get out there and make some awesome work. All right, thanks guys.